Hey everybody, it's David with davidspassage.com and I'm coming to you with another video. Um, springtime, the mosquitoes are kind of full force on me here. For some time now I've been wanting to do a video um, regarding the buck saw and uh, just its usefulness in, in camping. And really I fell in love with the buck saw while winter camping with my buddy Russ from outside Michigan. Go check out his channel. He brought along a buck saw, a, a traditional, I guess not a traditional, but a, a modern day buck saw with him. You're gonna hear the gunshots in the background. Uh, I'm, I'm about a quarter mile from the gun range, so just ignore the shots. I'm pretty safe where I'm at. Anyway, uh, I wanted to make a video about the buck saw because it's an extremely useful tool when you are when you're camping, especially winter camping. Uh, the reason being, you can process a lot of firewood and, and big firewood um, with a buck saw. In the winter time that's very very important because you need a lot of firewood big pieces of firewood in order to keep you warm through the night or to keep the fire going throughout the night and so what i thought i would do with this video is show you how you can make your own primitive buck saw uh, using a simple blade uh, a leatherman and some uh, cordage i'm using paracord you could also use use bank line i'm sure or or some other versions of or some other types of cordage i love the buck saw mostly for winter camping because you can process larger pieces of firewood relatively quickly um, and in terms of a buck saw that you make in the woods you're talking about something that weighs a few ounces as opposed to an axe or something like that that's going to weigh a few pounds they're really simple to make and so i thought i'd take you through the process of making a primitive buck saw that you can use in uh, in camping situations backpacking situations that sort of thing to do this, I'm going to skip some of the processes just for the sake of, of time and boredom uh, as, as some of this stuff takes does take a bit of time to do. First of all, you need a blade. This is a 24 inch blade I picked up on uh, Amazon.com and uh, it's a it, kind of a nicer blade. It's, it was about 20 bucks. If you just want to make one for the fun of it and to experiment with it a bit, uh, you can go ahead and pick one up at Home Depot. They sell them, I think they're around 7 bucks maybe for a 21 inch blade. The first thing you're going to want to do after, after you get the blade is you're going to want to find a, a tree um, or a piece of wood that you can process into the handles and, and middle, middle support for the buck saw. Now, I'm using a piece of wood that is, I don't know if you can see that or not, a little bit thicker than my thumb. And basically, this is, this is my handle one of my handles. I want it to be big enough that when I put my hand around it, it's going to feel, it's going to feel comfortable. I'm going to be able to grip it really good uh, in order to get a good, uh, a good grip on it for when I'm in the sawing action. Okay. You're going to want two pieces of those, roughly the same length and same width. With a buck saw, um, a lot of times the length of your handles determines how big of a piece of wood you can cut through. Um, but in terms of size here, just to sort of give you a gauge, okay? From my fingertips, it's almost coming to my mid elbow. Again, that's for the handles. You need two of those. Now, I got all of my pieces from, you gotta excuse me, guys, these mosquitoes are nasty out here. Um, I got all my pieces from the same piece of, of tree. Um, it was standing and the top had been, had been knocked down, and so I just processed it up. Now, with the middle section, the middle section needs to be a bit shorter than your blade and I'll show you why in a little bit but if you could see this okay you can see that my blade sticks out a little bit from those ends now the reason why I do that is because when you put the buck saw together when I put it together in a little bit you want the ends to be able to come in at an angle this will keep the blade um, secure in the slots you're going you're gonna to make. So let's go through some of the processes. All right, so once you have, once you have the sticks you want to use, I'm just going to take my leather in here. I've actually used the buck saw itself to do this. Um, I wouldn't suggest it just because of the safety issues. It's not really safe doing that that way. But I'm just going to take the saw out of my leatherman here. Okay, I'm going to find the middle of this piece and I'm going to start to make a groove in here. And this groove will be where the saw itself, the saw blade fits, sits. Okay. 
So now that I've cut my groove out in the middle of this piece of wood here, if you stick the saw blade in, you want it to stick, um, you want it so the saw blade can fit in there pretty good. Just like that, there's a, you know, so that the, the top of this is hanging over the blade a bit. And uh, I'm gonna do the same thing to the other piece of wood. Okay, I'm gonna check that. Make sure that blade fits in there nice and good. All right. All right, now when you have the slats cut on your, your, your handles here, you want to take your middle support piece and you want to stick it in the middle just to sort of see how it's going to fit in there. Okay, and you want it to have a little bit of an angle. So what's going to happen is we're going to put a, a tension string. It's going to pull that tight. And what you want to be able to do is you want these ends to, to bend out a little bit in a sense so that it holds that blade nice and firm in between those two handles. So. That's pretty good. When I first started, you know, it looked like that. And so I kind of cut it down gradually, more and more, until I got a good fit. And I think that's going to work. Again, forgive the mosquitoes, they don't know what they do. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take that middle support piece and I'm going to start to kind of want to get a curve cut in there just a little bit so that it fits up uh, nice and snug against that, the roundness of the handle. Now. There's a few ways you can do it. I've seen people put like a, um, I guess a tendon joint where it sticks, you know, and carve into the handle. This is real simple. So I, I'm trying to keep it real simple. There's all kinds of ways you can make these, but I just, for the sake of this video, just want to keep it real simple to give you the basics. And if you experiment with it, you can uh, do it however you want. Just gonna use my file a bit here and start to uh, file out, use my knife and file rather, start to file out a, uh, a notch right there. Do a little touch up work with my knife. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. The next thing I'm going to make is a uh, is the tensioner. The tensioner is basically a stick that gets um, twisted, twisted in the paracord in order to put tension on the two handles to pull the handles together to put tension on the blade. To do that, you just need a stick that is roughly uh, a little bit longer than the distance from here at the top of the buck saw to here. In case I found the stick I'm going to use and just kind of whittling it down. Nothing too fancy here. I like to keep one end of it a little bit more pointy than the other. Just to kind of give you an idea of what that looks like. Now, a lot of these parts don't make sense now, but when we put the saw together, it'll make more sense. I apologize if this video seems kind of quick. Uh, the mosquitoes are starting to carry me off here, so I kind of want to get this done. All right, so there's my, the tensioner I'm going to use. I've got a bit of paracord here. First of all, what I'm going to do is make a clove hitch around one of the sides. Clove hitches are used to tie a uh, rope around cylindrical objects. Bring the paracord over and then cross it over. See that X? I'm going to come back up with it. This is kind of hard to do on camera. I'm going to bring that uh, tag in up under the X through the inside there. Okay. So you can see there's my X and uh, the tag end comes up through there. Pull that tight. So now that I have my clove hitch on my handle here, put my blade in there, I'm just gonna pull it. I'm gonna pull it in such a way so that um, this end that comes off of here comes out at, in the middle, towards the middle of the blade if I can, if I can help it. Um, because 
as I begin to tension it, what will happen otherwise is this, this handle will have a tendency to, to kind of twist and bend the blade, which I don't want. So once it's coming off the center there, we'll bring it around this side. Come back. And I'm going to come back around again. Now, cut off a bit too much here. That's okay. What I'm going to do now is position this middle support in the middle so that my tensioner here meets up and uh, overlaps it just a bit. I'm going to just make, I'm going to come around like this, come around underneath my paracord, bring that back around come around the other way and then just tie it off wrap it around a few times nothing fancy there some variations of this um, I've seen people make a Y um, with, with two supports in the middle you can do that to give added support but this is just a basic buck saw. Next what I'm going to do, and this is sort of the last step of the process, I'm going to insert, I'm going to insert my, my uh, tensioner in between the paracord. And I'm just going to begin to twist it around. Alright, so we're finished with our buck saw and I found this dead uh, piece of, of wood here and just tension that up a bit and show you how to saw through it. One thing that's important when, you, when you're using a buck saw, one of the ways you can keep safe by doing this is once you get your blade started here, reaching through to the other side, that way your hand is completely out of the way of the blade. And then you're safe. Again, buck saw. Um, amazing tool for winter camping process a lot of firewood quickly and blade only weighs a few ounces as opposed to some axes which weigh you know two three pounds in your pack um, yeah that's it these mosquitoes are driving me nuts thank you so much for watching this video if you've made a buck saw or if you have any tips on how to make them better or how to get rid of these mosquitoes please weigh in on your comments below <laughs> Thank you so much for your subscriptions, for your likes on Facebook, follows on Twitter, and all that good stuff. And this is Dave again from David's Passage. We'll see you in the next video if I'm still alive. <laughs>